Hello everyone, Colin Cadet here for Woodwork Web. You know, uh, last uh, couple videos or so ago, I made this little box joint jig for the router table, and I really, I really like this little jig. So today we're going to do something. Um, we're going to do a replica of something called a little shoe shine box that I happened to see in an antique store a few months ago and it's in my brain and it's perfect for this kind of a little build. Now I didn't have a tape measure with me when I saw this little shoe shine box but I did look at it pretty closely and of course it had box joint uh, corners on all sides of it and it looked like it was about three eighths of an inch, something like that. It wasn't half inch, so I'm not even sure exactly, and it doesn't really matter. So I've gone out and I've um, secured some wood. I've already planed it down to three eighths of an inch, so it's ready to go. I just need to start cutting it to length now, and we can put it into the jig pretty shortly and start cutting some box joints. I want each side of the box to be exactly the same length, so I'm going to gang cut them. I'm at the box joint jig right now and I need to set the height of the bit and we just use a piece of scrap material that we cut off um, the thickness of that needs to be the same height as the blade and you can see that that one is just proud of that so that's all ready to go there's the four sides of our box. There's the, the front and the back right there. And these are the two sides. And we can actually cut these all together, all at the same time. So what I'm going to do, I put them all in the carriage, but I have a little piece of plastic that's exactly the same width as the router bit. And if I put it in there and offset the front and the back, and I'm just going to use this piece of MDF here as a filler so I can lock those in there and slide that out. And now that's all ready to go. It's firm in there and there's an offset. So now when I take them out, I can put them back in the same way, but I need to make sure that this is offset this side again. And we'll show you when we do that. Okay, now when I take these out, I need to make sure that I don't twist them around. So we're going to take it, turn it right upside down like that. Now this time, the offset is going to be on this inside. So there's my marker, and I just have to drop those back ones down. There we are. Lock that in. So I'm finding the pins are just a little bit tight, so I've got a file that's absolutely a quarter of an inch thick, and it's perfect because I can bring it up through each one of these holes once, and it will give me just enough leeway to put this together 
and allow for a little bit of glue to go in there when it comes time to gluing. Okay, so I just touched all of the pins a tiny bit. Let's have a quick look and see what a dry fit looks like now. So pulling up this many box joints uh, is a little bit of a challenge because very often the glue will want to set up before you get through. So I'm just going to try this time, instead of trying to do the whole thing at once, I'm just going to do a side at a time and use my square to make sure that it's absolutely square and then put all the sides together. There, we'll just let that sit for a few minutes, we'll do the other side, and then we'll put them all together. Well, our little shoe shine box is coming along quite nicely. I just have a couple things to do now. I need to put the lid on, the top and the bottom, and that will look something like that when we're done. But what I want to do is, because I'm going to glue this, I think what I'll do is I'll do a, a wrap it all the way around. So. We'll go over to the table saw and do that. The other thing I have to do is sand off these pins because they're a little bit proud, which is what we want to do. So we'll do that and we'll make the lid. The setup for the rabbit is pretty simple. I just used a piece of cutoff that I have lying around here and set that right about there. I want to leave a little bit of extra room, so we'll put that right there. And the height, I'm just going to use one of my quarter inch bars here and we'll set that right there and that'll be the same on all sides. So to take that rabbit out fully now, I just need to line that up with the saw, and that looks good there. And I'm just going to set the height. Well, I decided before I put the sole on, what I need to do is cut the lid off and probably do some finishing next because uh, we've, we've done all this work up to now. So, but I'm going to be stopping after the three cuts because I want to stabilize the last cut so that the, the, the lid isn't flopping around so I get a nice straight cut. So you'll see that in the video. As I was making this, I was thinking about what finish I was going to do, and the whole point of doing box joints is to make them pop out, and one of the best ways of doing that is to use dye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dye the entire carcass and the standoffs and make them all this uh, dark, darker walnut kind of color that I mixed up. And I'm going to leave the top 
the, the sole natural so that it stands apart. So, but let's have a look. I'm anxious to see how these pins are going to turn out here. I just love that, the way the die makes those pins stand out like that. That's the whole purpose of doing that. Okay, the coating of dye I put on is all dry, and I'm going to give it a top coating now of some Osmo, but I just wanted to show you before we get started how it really makes those pins pop out. So I'm going to go ahead now and do the complete finishing. Well, and that completes our shoe shine box. I put a little bit of brass hardware on uh, just to give it a little bit of bling. And of course, the, the sole on top with the natural wood gives it uh, a nice effect too. So a great way of using that box joint jig on the router. Uh, it does a great job. And the box is useful too. It can hold all of your shoe shine uh, products that you need. Uh, you always know where they are and it's just a nice little elegant box to have. Well and that concludes our video on making our first project with the box joint jig on the router table and I, I must say I really like the jig. It works really well on the router table. I was a bit skeptical at first but um, the proof is in the pudding. It, it really does do a, a great job. So another option for you in your workshop I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Join us on Facebook. Like, follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. All that good stuff. And don't forget to stay tuned because we've got lots of projects on the go here.